What's up, what's up, what's up, Facebook? <laughs> so anyways, um, I've been working on a, on a big goal for September where um, I'm gonna meet uh, my high, high school uh, friends, uh, 25 year party. And I just don't wanna go like overweight, you know? I'm embarrassed to, to actually go and say, hey guys, I made it in business, but I'm fat, you know? So I just, I have a lot of pride to, to even do that. So I set myself a goal and I uh, did everything I could and I'll lose a little bit and then I'll, I'll come back right back. And I got sick of it, man. I got sick of it because I was like, man, maybe maybe because I'm over 40 years old, my metabolism is slow or, or maybe because I abused alcohol in the past. I was just, man, frustrated. And I start, I start uh, investigating, investigating, um, you know, how people really lose weight. Because I'm not, a, I'm not a, a, like a gifted guy, okay? It's very hard for me to lose weight. Uh, maintaining my lifestyle, okay? <laughs> so, what I realized is that when I was working out very hard, I was eating a lot because I was getting very hungry. And again, I'm gonna continue to do that, but in a couple weeks. So the way I, it actually works for me is, is by doing this, okay? In the morning, in the morning, all I do is coffee with, um, with grass fed, Grass-fed, right? Yeah. Grass-fed butter and organic coconut oil, okay? So what happens with this is that th is, is good fat. So what happens is it actually um, uh, tricks my mind that I'm full, okay? And then I don't eat any breakfast. And I start eating around 11 or noon, okay? And I eat good stuff, I, I, I eat a lot, a lot. And I eat anything I want, I don't eat shit anyway, because I, I don't wanna feel like tired or, or lethargic, right? But I, I go like, for example, Chipotle, and I eat good stuff, you know, like avocado, chicken, you know, rice, brown rice, whatever. It doesn't matter. And I eat until around 6 p.m., okay? Two, three meals, it doesn't matter. So I eat in a period of six hours. I eat my meals. And then uh, at night time, I don't eat, and I don't eat until next day. So everything that I eat, I eat in a period of six hours. I'm not working out anything, nothing. And, 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 and the reason why I'm not working out right now is because every time I go work out to uh, Orange Theory Fitness, because uh, I, I, I burn 700 calories, I get so hungry and I wanna eat, you know, everything. <laughs> so right now I'm not working out until I get used to this, this routine but uh, actually this routine comes from uh, Chris Winters. You should follow him. Uh, intermittent fasting is what it is, okay? And he actually eats in periods of four hours because he already got his body used to. I do seven hours because I just, you know, I just started. And it actually works. Uh, makes your, your body become a, a fat burning machine, fat burning machine. So that's pretty much it, you know? Uh, I, mean, I, I look so forward to eating right now. <laughs> Where, you know, I'm ready to go and, and eat a big plate of chicken and, and avocado and, and brown rice and, you know, good stuff. But I'm not even counting calories or anything, which is, you know, which I like it. Uh, and again, the coffee, the coffee trick 
uh, with the fat that I told you actually makes you feel full and then and doesn't make you hungry until around 11 or noon which is, uh, actually helps and you know that's my story and I'm gonna stick to it like like uh, uh, Les Brown says right this is my story and I'm sticking to it uh, whatever works for you great I tried everything everything that nothing works for me this is the only thing that works for me and again uh, workouts are gonna be literally are gonna be 20 30 minutes of intense workouts three times a week when I start but first I have to get the, the body used to uh, not eating until 11 or noon because what happens if I do it right now I'm gonna feel like shaky and I'm gonna get very hungry and I'm gonna start messing it up but anyways uh, if you are struggling losing weight Try that. Start pushing. Start pushing. Uh, you know, just cut breakfast. Just cut breakfast, and and then have uh, you know your lunch, normal lunch like you always do, and then start working on pushing it the the lunch a little further. You know, after your workouts, ideally, and and stop eating. You know, stop eating around six or seven, and if you feel hungry. What I do is another trick that I do is I eat some olive oil. Uh, what is it? Olives, right? Olives? Yeah. Olives. I start eating olives and sparkling water with orange uh, from, uh, uh, what is it? Perrier. 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 And the sparkling water actually gives me a sense that I'm, I'm, I'm full. Uh, that's all it works for me, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm really like that. The worst type uh, of, of of someone that wants to lose weight. I tried everything, and you know. So, anyways, I hope that helps. I hope that helps if you are a fat ass like me, and and you can also look sexy in your new dresses or your new uh, speedos. Now that the summer is coming. Um, what else? Let's see. What the tr the coffee trick is actually uh, made by the guy, uh, the company Bulletproof. Okay, I don't buy any of his stuff, but he he built it into a business. Okay, it's the Bulletproof diet actually. So I just went to uh, Whole Foods and I buy uh, grass-fed butter. Okay, grass-fed butter, which is supposed to be really good butter. And, and I get uh, the organic uh, coconut oil, which is good fats. And you put that in the coffee. And I got organic coffee, but I mean, I don't know if it matters. I just, I just did that, okay? Uh, and, I, and I mix it very nicely. And I drink that in the morning. And that makes me feel full. That's, that's, that's the trick. Um, so remember the bulletproof coffee research that because that it actually works okay and I'm not promoting them um, again I tried everything everything every diet in the whole world every trainer I even had the guy who trained people from uh, uh, what was it like the big fat loser big fat loser trainer the biggest loser I mean I tried everything man I got personal trainers everywhere and the best diets and the, nothing works man. nothing works what works for me is intermittent intermittent fasting that's what it's called intermittent fasting okay and it's actually good because uh, in the Bible they tell you about fasting okay they tell you about fasting and giving away the craves of food you know large ice vanilla for coffee for for blessings so anyways um, I truly truly believe that um, I'm, I'm starting to to lose pounds again and feel good about myself I always feel good about myself but I want to look I want to be in shape man for that party man I want to be like hey guys I made it I was the the, the poorest guy 
In high school now, I'm the richest one and sexy. That's how I want to be. That's how I want to go to the party in September. Okay? Thank you. So, I don't eat donuts. Babies like do the little donuts. <laughs> My wife <laughs> just, <laughs> she likes her stuff. I cannot stop her, whatever she I'm wants. I'm not eating the donuts, so. Yeah, I don't eat donuts. Uh, no solo del pan vivirá el hombre. Yes, so remember guys, fasting gives you blessings. Okay, read it, it's in the Bible. Fasting, so that's what I'm doing. I'm fasting, I'm fasting. So I can pray for you guys, okay? So I can pray for your success. So I can pray for your freedom. Anyways, guys, it's been amazing uh, this week. You know, I was in Les Brown's home, connected with him, with his family, and reminded me um, when I was driving to work and I would listen to him so I could believe and it was it was tough, man. It was tough because I just didn't know how. I just didn't know how. I just wanted to get out of the hole. I just wanted to get out of the hole. So you know that, and and I made it a dream to 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 go see him. I, I didn't even make it like I want to be his friend. <laughs> you know. Now we're gonna do business together, and uh, and that's exciting. That's exciting, and and. It all happens because I invested in myself. I invested in myself. I, 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 I believe that I was worth the investment because I know that I will actually uh, do something about getting out of that hole, okay? Not like most people that start something, start something and they never complete it. And they wonder why they never have success. You know, you begin something, you go all the way, all the way until you know everything about it, everything about it. That's the only way to achieve success, guys. And again, all that has worked for me. And that's my story. That's my story. And that's the only thing I can recommend to you is invest in yourself. There's a lot of people that's going to tell you. No, you can learn it from yourself and make the mistake yourself. That's what we heard when we grew up, right? You gotta, you gotta learn uh, by experience. You gotta learn by experience and go and go make mistakes, make mistakes. That's what they tell you. That's what they tell you. But if you notice, ninety-seven percent of people are broke. So whom are you listening to? Broke? You know, that's why they are broke because that's what they said. You know, for me was invest in yourself. Find someone who knows how to get there and go all the way. And that's what I did. That's what I did. You know, um, and I was, uh, I didn't finish the story yesterday, but um, because my phone died, I'm always using it so much that I forget to charge it. <laughs> I'm always moving. Um, I told you, you know, that when I was in high school, and maybe it's true, I don't even know, I don't, I don't care. Everyone thought you were ugly. So left, everybody said my hair was ugly and and that I was ugly. So all my friends would tell me that, right? And I kept hearing that, right? And I, you know, uh, subconsciously, I, I thought that was true, okay? Because I, I was in that environment where people would pick on me and they would tell me, hey, your hair is, uh, your hair is ugly and you are ugly, right? even though if it's true or not. So what happens is that if people tell you you're stupid, at some point you're gonna believe you're stupid, right? If people tell you you're a loser, at some point you're gonna believe you're a loser, right? So you have to make sure that what you tell your mind every day, what you repeat your mind every day is something wonderful because it's free okay because it's free okay so I always tell myself that um, you know I, I can do it I can do it I can do it I can do it okay I'm going to meet this person I'm going to meet this person I never set myself limitations I never do 
I learned that secret. Because your subconscious mind just listens to what you say every day. So if you say you're, you're, you're a loser, or you are with a, a partner that tells you you're a loser, what do you think is gonna happen? You're gonna believe you're a loser, right? Haven't you heard that there's the, those couples that the wife or, or the husband tells the wife, like, you know, like, you're this, you're this, you're a loser, you you suck, you, you, you whatever, just to put them down so they don't believe they are that good, but it's insecurities from from the from either the husband or the wife telling the other person that it's insecurities, right? So the other person doesn't believe it's too good, and then uh, cannot maybe find something better. <laughs> okay, so you have to make sure that you surround yourself with people that tell you you're beautiful, people that tell you that you're amazing. People that tell you that you're going to be a millionaire, okay? Every time I tell my wife, listen, I'm going to do a hundred million dollars with this strategy that I just told you here, and this is because of it. She has never, never said to me, no, that's that's not re realistic. Have you? No. What do you said to me? I know you will. I know you will, okay? She's my number one cheerleader. I know you will, okay? And that's what inspires me to actually go do it, okay? I know you will. Those are the words I wanna hear from the people around me. I don't wanna hear bullshit like, oh no, that's not realistic, oh no, that's a scam, oh no, no, no. I don't want to hear that shit. Because if someone has done it, I know I'm going to outwork them and I'm going to do it too. But again, you see the word I said, I'm going to outwork them. Okay? I might not have the skills of a great speaker. I might not have the writing skills. Neither the experience. But I know, I, I know that I'm gonna outwork them because I wanted more than them, okay? So again, if you want something really bad, just just make, make the plan that it's going to happen. The people that you need to meet will come along the way. For example, not too long ago, okay? And and the guy, uh, here's a, a guy, TJ. TJ Carbonera, he can tell you. I know, he, I know you're listening, bro. Remember TJ, when we sat down on that table and I said that I wanted to grow and I wanted to uh, uh, do celebrity endorsement. Say yes or no, remember? There's a delay. So TJ, TJ will tell you that. Okay, when I told TJ, and he's gonna be, he's gonna tell you if he's listening. TJ, remember when we sat down and we had um, food, and I said that I wanted to get celebrity endorsement, right? And and we were looking for uh, investors or whatever, right? So what happens is I didn't know how, I didn't know how. Okay, I didn't know anyone that could connect me to that, to this, this, these celebrities. But I said the intention that I wanted that, okay? I said the intention I wanted that. I didn't put set limitations. I didn't say it's not gonna happen. I said, that's what I'm gonna do. And it happens to be that I met someone who knew Les Brown and introduced me to Les Brown and we created a, a relationship, okay? Very simple. You see, I set the intention and I didn't say, no, but I don't know anyone. I'm not, I'm not, I'm a nobody. Like most people will say, right? And I did it. And I, the universe sent me the right person who knew the right person. And now we're doing business. And you know when this happens? A month ago, a month ago. 
a month ago. Okay? So that's for you to see how important it is for you to say amazing things about yourself. Just, just, I will help you guys off. I go, I go clean the car. Yeah. So, sorry, the guys want to go to, to the, the park. Park time, baby! Park time, baby! At the park, I make moves, baby. That's why I have my, my, uh, headphones. My, uh, headphones and, and earbuds. So I can make the moves, baby! The moves! So anyways, you guys, you already know the secret of success. I already told you that 50 million times. What's stopping you is you don't begin. You don't begin. Forget about the plan. Just said, I'm going to meet this person. I'm going to make this amount of money. And this is the plan that I'm going to do. And you can, you can always change it along the way, the plan, okay? But you have to begin. You have to begin and keep it simple. Okay, this is one of the reasons why people never achieve anything. They create an A to C plan. I'm gonna have pin interest and Instagram and YouTube and my tube and porn tube. You know, porn have everything. They're gonna have every channel possible. So they can start their business, A to C. And then when they look at it, they get overwhelmed and they don't start anything. Listen, my plan is A, B, that's it, simple. I made a fortune just with Facebook. I don't give a fuck about Instagram. I don't give a care about YouTube. I don't care about this. Facebook, I mastered Facebook and I, I made a fortune with Facebook, that's it, boom, now, when I start making money, then I got and, 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 and we started doing something on YouTube. The other day, you know, not too long ago, I started an Instagram account. Uh, whatever. But I did not create an A to Z plan. I created an A to B plan and I went deep, both deep, into A to B. That's it. And I built, built a multi-million dollar company. Simply because I just went deep. I didn't know how. I didn't know anybody. I just knew I wanted it. And I knew I didn't want to work for anyone anymore. That's it. Make it simple, make it fast, A to B. And become the best from A to B that anyone, that people will be scared of you because you're the best from A to B. Later, when you start making money, you add C. You make more money with C, you add D. That's it. A to B. Stop, stop creating A to C bullshit. I don't even... Do you want to you wanna hear this a funny thing? I never in my life had a business plan. Never. Even today, I don't have a business plan. I don't care. I just do it. And then the business plan gets created later. Just freaking do it. Just freaking do it. Go for it. Okay? A to B. All the way. Mommy, shoes off. Simple. We're gonna go to the park right now. Kids, what the park, baby? We'll do more later, more videos later, okay? Go create an A to B plan and don't stop. Say you're gonna meet the president, you're gonna meet every single person if you want. And every day, repeat that. Write it down. Okay? Anyways, guys, I see you guys later. Hope you love my diet.